All right, I actually realized after I finished my last video that I forgot to do the slash portion over here inside my notes. And this is actually uh, really important. Um, it's actually gonna solve an issue, uh, a little bug that we have in our code right now. Over here, you we have two products, right? The turkey burger and a veggie burger. And if I try to add a, an item here, I'm gonna go ahead and create an item. I'm gonna browse inside my system and over here I have a I have some photos that I got from online the free stock images that I'm making use of all right so uh, the first uh, so what I want to do is I want to use this pars uh, pasta carbonara I'm gonna open that so I have an image and I'm gonna do pasta carbonara description I'm just gonna write whatever just like this because we're testing for the price to $15 the category is a pastas category and the quantity whatever do three and if I submit that Cabernetta was created now over here at the bottom we don't even see that a uh, product was created and if I and you would assume that once I close this modal that it should dynamically be added to our admin body at the bottom portion uh, where we with the other items but watch it's still not there. We still have just our turkey burger and veggie burger when realistically or the best of uh, what we really want, especially as a user, you want to see it here um, in real time. So but it will show, but it's going to take me to I have to refresh the browser and then you see pasta cover now. All right. So that's obviously a bug. And that's what this right here is going to resolve for us. And I'll even show you once we do this. So let's go ahead and do this. And um, we're going to start off with the constant. It's going to be called create product. For the constants, go to the product constants. And right above our get, get products, I'm going to do export const get products. No, what am I? Create product singular. All right. And then create product okay so with constant next thing is we're gonna go to reducer product reducers and right above our get products we're gonna do a case for create product but we also have to import that right so okay automatically we got it imported so create product Next thing is we're going to do a return. We're going to return the products and make some modifications. We're going to have our an array and we're going to spread out whatever is in the state dot products. All right, spread out whatever's currently in this products array. If there's any products that weren't here, anything here, it would spread it out inside our inside this new thing and then in addition do comma and then we want to pass the action payload and this is what we get from the back end so it's going to combine these two whatever's in the currently in the products and this products currently in the state and also combine it with whatever we're getting from the back end so then this whole thing right here will be replaced with this right here because rem remember um redux uh react it it doesn't allow you to directly mutate um, data all right you have to make a copy um, so or a clone all right so that's what we're doing here and if I save that we have that and then let's see all right so the next thing the final thing was to add inside the create product action all right so let's go to the action actions go product actions and create product and over here we're making the axios request to the back end to where this is to create a product so it's creating a product but then this response from the back end as uh, the back end is returning as a response to the newly created uh that that newly created product that's um in the that was created in the database and is returning that 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 object back to us that product and it's going to be stored here as a response and then it's going to stop the loading we're going to show the success message and then right below the 
dispatching of the success message, we want to paste this here and I want to do create product. And again, it automatically imports it here at the top, create product. And we're going to, if for the payload is going to be response data and then product. Product, right? This product is going to be the response from the back end. I even show you, improve to you. Go to the back end, the controller, all right, the controllers, the product for the create controller. Let's see, as a response, see the success miss and the product, all right? So that's where, that's where I'm getting this thing from, all right? All right, and if I save that, that should be it. And now it's time to test this thing that it actually works. So I am, so we have three products currently, right? And let's go ahead and confirm the database. We have three products. I'm refreshing. And also it shows here three items, right? Turkey burger, veggie burger, and pasta carbonara. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Let's go to the application. And I'm going to add a new food item. Go browse for our images. Next one, I'm going to add lasagna, which is also part of the pasta category. And I'm going to do lasagna and description. Again, this is just for testing. I want to. I don't want to take too long with that. And then price. Let's just do ten dollars. The category pastas, quantity twenty. Submit. Lasagna was created and look at over here. Also in the Redux, we see create product was fired off. So that's a good sign. And if I close this modal, lasagna dynamically added. So I don't have to refresh the page. All right. So you see that that resolved that or that uh, fixed that little bug that, that we had. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue on to the next video.